Well, there are questions tonight about the amount of vaccines that will be delivered. We know the state of Indiana will not get as many COVID-19 vaccines as expected next week. Yeah, CBS4 just received this statement from the State Department of Health confirming the reductions in the number of vaccines. Quote, vaccine allocations continue to be fluid, but we have been told that our Pfizer allocation will be lower than initially discussed. CBS4's Courtney Spinelli is looking at the possible long-term implications for that. Here at Riley Hospital for Children, frontline health care workers are getting the COVID-19 vaccine. This comes at the same time that states across the U.S. are reporting a lessened supply of the vaccine coming in next week. It's kind of an evolving process that, that we've never done before. Vaccination clinics underway across Indiana. A part of history, if you will. Excitement over the next shipment turning to confusion after an announcement during the state's weekly update. We did find out this morning that we were going to get a reduced number of vaccines than what we are planning on for next week. Pfizer and the HHS department pointing fingers at each other. Pfizer says they have millions of doses in a warehouse, but they're awaiting further instructions from the government on where to ship them. I think that this announcement by the federal government is a bit confusing and also frustrating because everyone is trying to get the vaccine out to healthcare workers as quickly as possible. Dr. Brian Dixon says now is the time for patients. He doesn't believe this will be a major setback. We seem so far to be on track to vaccinate most of the healthcare workers by the end of the month, which was the goal. The distribution is challenging the logistics to a cold chain that has to be kept as well. So these are common problems that we're going to have to deal with. Despite potential delays, health experts say the fact a vaccine is here is promising. This is a big day for everybody, everybody who's helping do this. Now good news here is that every health care worker with Riley that was hoping to get that COVID-19 vaccine, we are told will still be able to. Reporting in Indianapolis, Courtney Spinelli, CBS4 News.